Welcome back to TV Nation. Which do you think costs us most each year, street crime or corporate crime? Uh, I'd say probably street crime. Street crime costs us $5 billion a year. Corporate crime, $200 billion a year. Wow. What do you think kills more people each year, the workplace or handguns? Handguns. 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 Handguns, I would say. The workplace, 45,000 more deaths each year. We at TV Nation thought it was time to do something about that. Okay. So we, starting tonight, we're going to fight corporate crime. How? How are we going to do that? Watch this. You all know McGruff, the crime-fighting dog up there taking a bite out of crime. Seems like every problem these days has its own mascot. Smokey the Bear prevents forest fires. Woodsy the Owl stops polluters. And yet there's a problem that has no mascot. It's called corporate crime. Well, we here at TV Nation think that's wrong. And that's why tonight we'd like to introduce to you our newest mascot. Please meet Crackers, the corporate crime chicken. Crackers, let's go. Kids, thanks for coming out today. This is Crackers, the corporate crime chicken. Say hi. hi. Now, does anyone here know what corporate crime is? No. Yes. It's like if companies do something bad. That's right. Corporate crime is when corporations do something wrong or bad. Right, Crackers? That's exactly right. Now, kids, if you see any kind of wrongdoing by a corporation, you call that number in here, okay? Get a time over here. Let's go. We got our first tip about a company which had received a $50 million tax break because they had promised not to eliminate any jobs, which is exactly what they did. I was an employee of uh, CS First Boston, and it's my understanding that they've gotten a, uh, a tax break from the city of New York, and the guarantee was that they were going to keep jobs in New York City. Uh, what they do? Uh, and they've laid off quite a few people. How, how soon after they got the deal from the city did they start laying people off? Approximately 30 days. I don't think when they laid you guys off and took those tax breaks from the city that they had any idea that Crackers, the corporate crime chicken, existed. Hey, hey, wait. We are crime fighters, and this is a corporate crime fighting chicken, and we just want to go up there and, you know, we want to know whether they're going to give the money back to the city. It's just, right. just a simple There's question. Just ask the them. Well, all I want is for someone in First Boston to answer a question. If they ask us to leave, we'll leave. There'll be no interview given by First Boston under these circumstances. Are you First Boston? That's correct. Are you from First Boston? That's correct. We, all we want to know is, are you going to give the tax break back or the jobs? Tax break or the jobs? Oh, what so is it? As of now, you're going to notice that your persona on grata in this place. You, your chicken, your TV show, your cameras, everything else. You, so the you chicken, know, you're so even saying the chicken is persona non grata here. Even the chicken. You, the He'd chicken be more like family. chicken non grata, wouldn't oh, he? Whatever. Here's what I think we should do. Let's go to City Hall. I know the mayor personally, all right? You do? Yeah. On, on the show last summer, he gave me the key to the city. You can come in, but he got to stay out unless he takes his get-up off. Because I don't know who's going to need that med. Huh? I'm Crackers. Crackers, the corporate I'm crime corporate chicken. Crime chicken. Sorry, we can vouch for him. It's not a get-up. He is an actual corporate crime chicken. Good. Crackers, I'm going to see. I'll talk to the mayor. I know him. I'll see if I can get you in. Thanks, Mike. All right. If you can get the mayor to come see the chicken. All right, we'll try. We'll try. He's, uh, he's got busy. Yeah. It's a friendly chicken. No, I'm talking. Okay. It's a friendly chicken. It's a friendly chicken. When you gave them this tax break in January, and then a few weeks later they turn around and lay off 200 people, didn't you feel a little used that somehow that 
you know, they must have been planning these uh, job layoffs for some time. It's a very silly, it's a very silly description of, what, of a very complex thing that is very important to this city. Why won't you meet our corporate crime chicken crackers and discuss because this, this isn't Because this isn't a joke. Well, this isn't a joke. That's our point. Yeah, and you're presenting no, it that chicken way. Is a joke. Well, the, the chicken is not a joke. The chicken is fighting crime. He's right out the window there, and he, he'll talk to you. Having failed to convince First Boston to rehire the workers or give the tax money back to the city, Crackers had no choice but to take his case to the people. We keep jobs. Thanks to Crackers, the world now knew of this corporate wrongdoing. And with one victory under his belt, he headed across town to answer another call. Our next tip came from a pediatrician who was concerned about a product that he felt was unsafe for little children. So, doctor, what's the problem? Michael Crackers, well, I'd like to talk to you about a baby walkers. Pediatricians across the country have been trying to stop the use of walkers by young children. The major injuries are children falling down flights of stairs, hitting up against something where this tips over, and the injuries are significant enough for the children to go to emergency rooms. So, doctor, how many, how many children a year are getting injured by these things? 25,000 a year, crackers. It doesn't help them walk. It, it doesn't help them how to walk properly. It doesn't start them any sooner. <laughs> that was more than we could handle. With 25,000 infants being injured each year, why wasn't this considered a corporate crime? We hightailed it over to Delta Enterprises in Brooklyn, where they make baby walkers. Hi. Hi, how are you? What can I do for you? I need to speak with you, sir. Crackers, the corporate crime chicken with TV Nation. You what? You need to stop me. Crackers, corporate crime chicken with TV Nation. How are you? Hi. You are, sir? Yeah, I'm the manager. You're the manager? Yeah. We, need, we are on a crusade. We need you to... Where'd he go? That's the boss. That's the news over. Out of here. Can't we at least import like... Out of here. Let's go. It's 25,000 babies a let's year. Go. Let's it's go. It's not right. All I want to know let's is... Let's go. Come on. It's not right. Come on, let's children. go. Crackers was getting another lesson in corporate communications. The company wouldn't listen to him, so he took his case to the people affected the most, parents with babies and walkers. I need you to give me this baby walker. I need you, I need you to do it. You, you got to give me that baby walker. It's, you've got to give it to Craig. If it's for safety, it's yours. It's yours. I'm off. You can take it. Thank you. Where's Crackers going? He's taking our walker. One week later, Crackers got a call. Crackers, let's talk chicken. How you doing? Good. Uh, what we did was we developed a new product that will help contain the child within a six foot to eight foot circumference uh -huh. and prevent them from going into areas that uh, the danger zone down the steps and so forth good good this will alleviate a lot of the concerns of mm -hmm. parents as well as the consumer product safety commission uh -huh. and the american academy of pediatricians oh excellent parents could rest easy thousands of baby walkers would now be made safer for Crackers, it was time to move on to the next corporate crime. You know, fighting corporate crime is a never-ending battle, and that's why we need your help. Each week right here on TV Nation, Crackers, our corporate crime-fighting chicken, and his crime mobile will be coming to a different city to find out what's going on in your hometown regarding corporate crime. More Americans say they would rather spend time in a jacuzzi with Dan Rather than Tom Brokaw. Of those who want a tub with Dan, 10% have no health insurance.